Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up and Creations coming at you today. This is an online haul from Amazon and eBay. I um, picked up a few things that I had been looking at um, that I had in my shopping cart for a little while and went ahead and um, decided to go ahead and purchase them. So I decided to go ahead and try out the Chandler Tools um, hot glue gun. I've been kind of looking at it and trying to decide if I um, really wanted to go ahead and bite the bullet and get it. The price point on these is is pretty typical of some of the um, better glue guns. The only drawback with you know like Amazon is that you don't um, you're not able to use a coupon or anything for it like you kind of can with some of them at like a craft store. But this one was like twelve fifty three, I believe, or something close to that. Um, I also got the larger one as well that, that does the larger glue sticks, and it was around $20. And I just wanted to go ahead and try these. What I really like about these is the stand. Um, I do find with my Sure Bonder one, that's kind of a detailed one, is that it does fall over a lot um, despite and that's just because of the cord coming out of the back where it does so you know despite trying to set it up just right or anything so I thought that maybe um, having the stand on this one might actually help so we'll see like I said I did go ahead and get the larger glue gun I do like um, the the smaller one came with uh, eight glue sticks, and then this one came, or 10 glue sticks, sorry. And then this one came with 10 as well, but these are the large ones, and they're really nice and long. So I do kind of like the trigger on these, um, so I'm anxious to try these out. And I do like how it has that cover on the tip, because I can honestly say that I actually have burnt myself on that before. Um, I guess, you know, when you just get involved with crafting and all, it's it's all fair game there. Um, so I did get those. I can't wait to try those out. I'll let you know if I like those. I'll link them down below just in case you're interested. But if you want my actual opinion on it, um, it might take a little um, while for me to get those out and actually use them and, and see how I like them. I mainly wanted them um, for not to drip and for the cover of the little um, piece. Now, I also found this. I was actually looking for something else, and these this kind of happened to flash up as I was looking for another little bag. I'll show you here in a minute, but this is kind of like just a little pencil and pen case. It has these like little mesh pockets in there. There's one that's a zipper on that side. There's like the pen case on the other side where you can put your pens down in it. And then this has a mesh pocket, but I bought one of the smaller planners, the Happy Planners from, I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby. And I really like this um, size to carry around with me. I do have a larger one, but I was finding it very inconvenient to carry that thing around. So I really wanted the smaller one. So I checked the sizes um, when I did get this off of Amazon to make sure that it would fit in here. And it is a little bit snug, but I feel like even having it in this, even if I throw it down in the bag I have, then maybe I won't um, end up bending some of the pages and then it would just kind of keep it safe. And I think I may even go back and personalize this little case with some of my um, vinyl with my Silhouette Cameo. The back pocket has this little piece that kind of folds out that you can add um, some cards to as well. I'm not sure what else you would put back here. I may have to go back and look at the website and see what else they put in the back there just to see, but it kind of would be nice if they would have even run a piece of elastic across that other side. But it does have these little front pockets as well. I guess you could put little page flags in there. And they're, I don't know, I think I love the color of this. It did come in a bunch of different colors as well. And I'm trying to veer away from picking everything purple out. Although, <laughs> I did pick out a purple case to hold my stethoscope. You know, what can I say? I like the purple of all those the best. Um, these are trauma shears. Now, I work in an ICU, and typically, I don't have to cut people's clothes off, but we are a small hospital. It's kind of, um, you know, just a rural hospital. A lot of times I do go down to the ER to answer um, code blue calls and different things. And I've always wanted to have some of the um, scissors that can cut through clothes. <laughs> I don't know why. I probably can tell you I've only cut through clothes maybe 
three times in the 10 years I've been nursing. Um, but it does happen um, every now and again. Um, if they're really soiled beyond repair and, and this person can't turn very well, I don't feel too guilty about it. So, um, but when they're in the ER and it's um, an emergency situation, it is nice to have something that will go through genes because you'll be surprised that sometimes that the things that you just have to do that you don't really want to do, but you have to. And I looked at these online and I really felt like they would fit my hands. Now they have some even better ones. These were $40, no lie. Um, they have some even better ones that kind of fold down, but my hands are so little. Um, they just don't fit in that, that those pair very well. I've tried somebody's out before just to see if I would like them. Um, but I can't even um, cut with them because my hands just don't span out far enough for those. So I looked at these and thought, well, I'm gonna try them and they are perfect. They fit my hand really good and I really like that pink color. They came in other colors as well. And then the next thing I got was to hold my stethoscope. I carry a little bag to work with me. I always just drop my stethoscope down into the bag. And the last stethoscope I had, um, the tubing on it was kind of hard. This one's kind of doing the same thing. I really happen to think it's because of my oily neck when I wear it around. Um, that's the only other thing I can think of. The next process to be is if I buy another stethoscope or at least buy the tubing to it, then maybe I will put um, a cloth barrier on it. The only reason I hesitate to do that is if somebody has something that's um, contagious or that's spore carrying that you can't just clean off, that you have to actually have to wipe off. I kind of hate to do that. So I've, I've erred on the side of caution of not doing that, but I may end up having to do that. So this has a bunch of little pockets for all your little nursing tools, your little pen light, your scissors. Um, the uh, actual stethoscope will fit in the back and I'm getting ready to put it in here in just a second. I can put a little thing of tape in there. Um, I'm mainly only gonna use this for tools. I do have like a little, um, sat monitor that you put on your finger and it tells you what your oxygen saturation and your heart rate is and so i'll put it down in here as well and i feel like that will really even um, help secure that and i had just bought that recently a rose gold and black one little sat monitor for about 22 dollars on amazon and i actually used a gift card that they gave us at Christmas for work to get that and it is so pretty. So I'm very protective of it and I think I'll end up putting it down in here as well. And you know you can put pins, um, your, of course your light pin um, in there as well. I know some of you are probably like oh my gosh you're just talking way too much nurse stuff for me here. But this is my little beautiful stethoscope. Um, it's like a copper which makes me think of rose gold and um, black. I like the black and the rose gold, but I really wanted the white and copper, but I thought, I will not keep that clean. There is no way. Um, but like I say, that tubing is just a little bit stiff up right where it wrap, wraps around my neck. So you actually just kind of fold it over and it'll fit right down into that little pouch. And I'm gonna actually have to pull it down just a little bit more to get it to slide in there. Um, but this will kind of keep that little keep it safe. You know, I have always kind of felt guilty about putting it in my bag because I kind of, I don't ever just throw my bag down, but I do kind of like set it down on the floor. I'm sure it gets kicked here and there being under the desk or anything. So I just thought this would help kind of protect it a little. And then of course it zips closed. There's a little hanging, um, ribbon piece at the top and then your carabiner can go on that area. And it's got that really cute uh, stethoscope with the EKG lines on there and a heart. And I thought that was cute. And then this I got off of eBay. This is called the Autoimmune Solution. Um, I saw a lot of positive reviews on this book and I really wanted to read it. Um, my middle daughter has had mono and it just seems like ever since then she has like chronic fatigue um, central symptoms. Um, she's got what looks like psoriasis on the back of her neck. And of course, anything I've read about autoimmune diseases, it seems like one 
there's, they come in twos at least. Um, she has an elevated thyroid, which um, she's only 89 pounds, which makes us think Hashimoto's. Um, so I'm looking at what we can do to change our diet and, and what supplements that we need and all in order to help her. And then my oldest daughter um, seems to, we have been told a couple different people have mentioned that she may have Crohn's disease. So it also has some things in here for that as well. Um, it says prevent and reverse. Um, the, the girl that actually wrote the book was going to school and started having some of these symptoms. And she did a lot of research because the medicine they put her on was killing her liver. And she was really young at the time. And so um, I'm just going to read it, see, see what I get out of it. And then I also picked up the autoimmune cookbook, mostly because we need um, some recipes. I'm really, really hoping that both of my girls don't have to go gluten-free. Um, it's manageable, but that is so, so hard. Um, and it's really hard to eat out sometimes um, and, and feel like for sure that, you know, everything's gluten-free. But this list here, it says 90% of, I don't know, I thought it said on the back 90% of Americans have an autoimmune disease, but which may be true because this lists like Graves' disease, psoriasis, um, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, um, mellitus 1, uh, and Hashimoto's, uh, thyroid issues, all those are considered autoimmune diseases. You know, it's kind of your body attacking itself or that um, function. And so I thought, well, that's kind of interesting to think that that many people, you know, have this issue. And a lot of it in me as a nurse thinks that it does seem to fit with processed foods and our diet and everything and so I'm going to try to learn as much about it as I can. Um, I know that um, for our unit we'd have to do a project every year and I'm actually going to go to a um, it's, it's something where you can do continuing education credits for nursing, and it's March 1st, and it's talking about um, diet and the treatment of diseases. And, of course, it mentions, you know, the keto diet, what supplements to take with it, and, and talking about autoimmune diseases. And I got that in the mail, and I just somehow felt like that was just kind of uh, meant to be for me to see it and get it, and so I'm going to learn all I can about it and maybe bring that back, um, you know, maybe do a presentation with um, my nurses on my unit and maybe even for our facility. I guess we'll just see how it goes and see what I learn and, and how effective a teacher I feel like I can be on all that. So I, sorry to bore you with that stuff, but if you're interested in that stuff, I thought that you may be interested in this book and I did get it off eBay. There's several sellers on there I wanted the copy myself to hold in my hand, which was a little bit more expensive. Um, I want to say I paid around $12 or $15 for the actual book, but you can get a digital copy like on your Kindle um, for a lot, lot less, like a third of the amount um, at least. So if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Um, if you have issues with that, I would love to know. I have actually joined a few groups on Facebook and there was a there is a connection um, with people who have mono with the Epstein Barr virus of having autoimmune diseases, and it's just it's really kind of um, it's awful to see that other people are suffering with some of the same things. But it's nice to know that you're not alone in those things. So if you if you have any questions or comments or or have issues with that yourself, let me know down below. I'm I'm just kind of interested um, on maybe how people have dealt with it and handled it, you know, in, in their lives. So I hope you guys are taking care and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you get a moment to craft it up and as soon as I use those glue guns, I will let you know how they work out. Take care. Bye.